Hey, hey, everybody, this is Big Ange bringing you more shenanigans on this Friday, September 20th, 2019. Now, for those of you who are fans of the Pied Piper, Mr. R. Kelly, I'm bringing you an update about your so-called friend. Let me tell you this. He had a hearing in Chicago on Tuesday, September 17th, and it is a hearing pertaining to his other charges and bond, bond hearing, and it goes something like this. And Miss Valencia Love posted bond for Mr. Kelly back in February. Uh, the bond was a million dollars. She paid 10% of that bond, which was $100,000, $100, excuse me, and she is wanting that money back. She got an attorney, of course, and they said to the judge, hey, I want this money back because Miss Love is saying she did not know that he had additional charges pending or in other charges being investigated so she feels like since he is already in jail not going anywhere on these other charges she would like to have her money back okay so there's no reason to keep the money that's how she feels all right so judge flood who was the presiding judge over mr kelly's um current situation in chicago says that she signed a slip knowing that there would be a chance that she could not get her money back and that even if Mr. Kelly met all of the conditions of his bond, there is a chance that the money that she put up for his bond would be used for attorney fees, court costs, fines. So he ruled she cannot get her money back. Now, I don't know much about that type of money being used for attorney fees and this and that. I've never heard that before. So I don't know if this is a standard thing, but anyway, that's what was said. Also, after new federal charges were brought against him in July, Cook County asked for a bond increase of the original bond, but Judge Flood denied this bond increase at the hearing on Tuesday because he felt like he is already being held without bond on federal charges for other cities. So he is facing two separate hearings, one in December for Cook County and one in April on federal charges. Mr. Kelly is charged with 13 felony counts of a federal indictment. The charges are child porn, enticement of a minor to engage in criminal sexual activity and obstruction of justice. Now, when the CBS did a morning report one of the things that was asked was how serious are these charges that are stemming out of New York City? And the lady who was giving the comment, uh, commentation, uh, commentary rather, was saying, you know, they are pretty serious because he may be facing a RICO charge in New York and facing decades of time in prison, sex trafficking, and they feel like Washington has came, come down hard on different uh, places, cities rather, for sex trafficking. And maybe Washington has a hand in this because they're tired of people getting away with being accused of sex trafficking and I guess getting, you know, getting off and not getting the time that they deserve for the crimes. And they feel like uh, Chicago may have been too slow in proceeding with his case and getting this on, you know, get getting this case moved forward. So, you know, that's a lot to be said because if Washington is putting their hand into it, then you already know it's a serious deal. Okay. So big Ange is getting ready to give you the 411, give you her opinion on this situation. First of all, I'm going to just tap on this about the hundred thousand dollar bond. Miss Valencia love wanting her money back. First of all, Crow, why would you put up that type of money for this man in the first place? Now, I don't know who you are to him, friend, ex-sexual partner, lover, whatever, but you were a fool to put that money up because you had to have known that these were serious allegations in Chicago before all this other stuff of, of, of Detroit and New York came into play. Why would you put up money for a man who won owed money to the court for child support. Okay. Oh, excuse me. Why would you put money up 
knowing he owed money for child support. That didn't make any sense. And I'm assuming that's what this money was for, really, because remember, he got arrested for the child support situation going on in Chicago because he was in the rears of child support. So he only paid a portion to Chicago for that. You, he still owed that money for those kids. And you, like a dummy, would go put money up knowing he owed these people, this woman, money for her, for his kids with her. Okay. Then, yes, all these other sexual things coming along, and now you want your money back because he's not free. He's been rearrested for federal charges stemming out of New York. Th that's on you. You, was a, you were a fool to put the money up in the first place. Now you want to renege and go back to the court and say, oh, well, I see y'all got other charges on him and he's not being able to walk free and yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I want my money back. Well, boo-boo, you're not getting your money back. They're not going to give you the money back. And you should have thought about that before you went running your tail down to the courthouse with your good funds to put up for a pedophile and a serial predator because that is what R. Kelly is for those of you who are trying to fake the funk and act like he is not scratch all this fame fortune I like his music yeah 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 why is all this coming into play because it's like anything you can do something only so long dirt grime it's going to surely come to the surface it's going to surely come out the closet it's going to surely come from underneath the rug that's just how it goes so he's had a free pass for 20 something years. Well, it's over with. It's over with. And that's just the way it goes. So my thing is this. They're letting her know she's not getting the money back. So she can forfeit that. But like I said, I don't know why she put the money up anyway. Because I feel like this. I wouldn't have faith in nobody who won't even take care of their children. Let alone different people coming out the woodwork with these charges that he's been messing with this one and that one, underage young girls, this and that. You knew that history even before he got arrested. But you're like everybody else. You turned a blind eye and you rode the ride too. Because being affiliated with him means you're riding the ride. Whether you see, hear, you understand what I'm saying? You're, you're no different. And you look stupid now, months in, Oh, now it's serious because New York is getting involved. Uh, uh, Detroit's getting involved. You know, whoever else going to jump on a bandwagon with some more charges, now you want your money back. Well, shouldn't have paid the bond. Bottom line, shouldn't have paid the bond. And that's my take on that. Drop your comments below. Tell me what you think. And I'll bring you another video and another update as soon as I get the information. I'll talk to you guys later and have a safe weekend. Bye.